Well, thank you both so much for taking the time. And I feel like saying congratulations because watching this movie was like going to a real wedding. Ah, oh, thank you. Well, it felt like we were in a real wedding. Yeah, of course. At seven in the morning in that scene. Yeah. So yeah, and Andy's got a couple of real weddings coming up now. So he, he got practice. Yeah, pretty much so, yeah. It's no, I love never, that. It's the never ending movie in my life. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's so cool to see this beloved story brought to life again, this time in such a fresh and modern way. What drew you both to this project and how exciting is it to have a Latin cast and culture front and center? I think it, uh, it was a great opportunity and, and a great responsibility. And I was really eager to uh, accept it and and, uh, and uh, honor honor the the you know the the responsibility that was given to me and all the other people that were going to be in the movie. I got in very early on because it came from from Paul Paris at Warner Brothers, who's an executive there, who's one of our producers. He had developed the idea and then uh, confided that they had developed it for me. And then when they sent it, I said, "I'm all in." You know, the scripts always continue to evolve. Then we hired, then Gaz was uh, hired and- And then I got a text yeah, from Andy. Guy. Hey, I have a script for you. And then I go, send it. Anything from Andy, I know is gonna be fantastic. He sent That's right. the script, I read it, I loved it. And then I found out Gaz was doing it. And I just, I'm a huge fan of his work and had just seen some of it. I go, this is kismet. And I, I thought, what a great opportunity. And it was just, uh, everything clicked as tends to happen when something should be made. And uh, it was just a fantastic experience. Yeah, me. you respond to the energy of the movie because there was a lot of energy as we made it. There was a lot of familiar feelings between us the, on the Cuban side and the, uh, and the Mexican side and all of us together. We were in it, we were all in it together. We really held hands, yes. you know, during the process. And, and that energy of, of play, sense of play that Gaz let uh, in addition to working very hard on the script, because he did a pass, we continue to work on it. A lot of ideas were continuously being incorporated into the material. And then as we worked, of yeah. course, the actors now inhabit these characters and the new ideas begin to, to uh, flourish, you know. Yeah, at that point, you're already a family. And that's exactly. just coming through on the screen. From day one, yeah. we were a family there. It was really felt great. Yeah, I love that. And you, Andy, you said that this is already kind of an art imitating life for you. You're both in long-term marriages with daughters. You must relate to these characters. Absolutely. How much real life experience did you bring into this? You know, everything. We are, as an actor, you bring every, everything, every fabric of who you are to all your parts. Uh, and because who else are you gonna pull from, you know? There's an amalgamation that happens, you know, where you act, you have to accept yourself as that person to begin with. Yes. You have to say, be able to say, I am Billy or I am, you know, Vincent Corleone or I am, you know, whatever part you're playing, you have to accept yourself or else the, the, the people watching the movie yeah. will not accept. And by the way, Andy and Gaz actually brought my daughter into the film because right. she's playing young me in the opening yeah. uh, with the young Andy. Oh, I love that. Yes, and it was kind of, when I saw her in the wedding dress, it was like, ah, because she looks so much like me in that character. And yeah. she did a great job as she well. And even my grandson did a cameo because he was visiting me on set for two weeks when we were shooting the wedding, but he was on the groom side and we developed a backstory for him. And he him. probably said to you, if, if I'm not in this movie, I'll never talk to you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no, he didn't, but he was, they, they said, hey, if he wants to yeah, be in absolutely. it, they got him a suit and they, he was they so put him in there. He had so much fun. He had a blast. They taught him. They could use the clapper. And he was behind the camera. He was. He, loves, he loved all that. So it really was a family affair for sure. I love that. Have we yeah. had a family watch party yet? Who's gotten to see the movie? So we, when they sent us the first editing, uh, my son was going to set it up in his, he's got a theater and he's got a, we couldn't do the drive-in because we, we didn't want people to see it right. around, but um we, we watched it as a family. I invited them over and they, they were, Emilio was beside himself. He couldn't believe it. He goes, Oye, you really impressed me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, that was, that's one of the few words you can actually understand when he speaks <laughs> English. <laughs> no, the family was absolutely in love with the movie. They, they, they were thrilled. That's great. Did it inspire you to actually take out your old wedding dress? Have you put that on anytime recently? I haven't, but you know, funny enough, I had seen my wedding dress because I was in the in the uh, in the warehouse where we have already put away, looking for something else, and I opened the box and there it was. And I'd had to reconstruct it because my cover spaniel had eaten the sleeve because I'd gotten oh, no. on it. So before we we put it away, 
It's gonna be 44 years ago. There's a song in there. Yeah, that, you know. my cocker spaniel yeah. ate my wedding dress. Oh. Yeah. my <laughs> cocker uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good one. But yeah, it's still there intact. Uh, I don't know if anybody's gonna be wearing it, but it's there. But it's there. We're and we, uh, and we have to ask Gloria. We heard that you threw a pretty epic rap party for everyone. Oh and yes. Up in the pool. We need to hear more about this. Oh my gosh, we had. I wanted to show them a good time in Florida, and, and they got one. Oh boy, did they! And we had a blast. It was a great way to wrap the. You know, everybody that was in Miami, we invited. We were very COVID safe because we were shooting during. You know, still heavy COVID era. So I went to the COVID person and we made sure that everyone had, you know, a test done and did the whole staff, everybody that was there and we had a ball. It was really a great night. And I'm happy that, that we were able to do that and celebrate because the movie was so great and we all felt such a family feeling that it was nice to celebrate that on the last day yeah i love that and before you got started had either of you watched the steve martin or even the spencer oh, versions to brush up what are your favorite moments from those classics oh but marty short oh my god yes <laughs> and where I'm the today, sublime marty short yes. yeah we needed subtitles really yeah. would have helped that <laughs> short character had subtitles. Well, you know uh steve martin who i've worked with who's a brilliant uh, you know we all know he's a brilliant so both him and marty together they they uh they really in feed off each other and they really yes. uh have, i mean they've done stage shows together they go on the road together that they're, they're like martin and lewis yeah i love the physical know. comedy yeah. in that in that film because yeah. it's just epic what they do with it and i had watched both incarnations with my grandson because we like to look at films that go far in the past and i loved the spencer tracy and liz taylor although it, it hasn't some of the scenes in there are a little hard to watch now uh, and I was, was a while ago that her husband looked way too old for her in the film, right? But but uh, I was a big fan when, when he showed up. I thought he was up. like the insurance salesman. I, 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 I was like, was like wait a minute, what? But that may have been more normal of that time. I don't know. But anyway, uh, it, what I love is that each incarnation is its own film and has its own and reflect the times as ours reflects the times. Very strong women. The girls that we raised together right. uh, are so strong that they're buck, bucking him at every right. turn, and you know it's it it reflects it's like, where it's we like, are. Uh, it's like it's uh, like you know Doctor Frankenstein. You know, <laughs> I've created a monster. Exactly. And, and they're coming out. They're coming <laughs> Two out. Monsters. The, three. Three, three monsters. Three. Three monsters. Four. Four with, with my mom with in the film. Mom in the film. So I, I was surrounded <laughs> by by Billy. Had to at some point had to wake up. That's right. That's right. And you, you, you know how that is. Yeah, well, so. you know, before we let you go, I just have to say, uh, you know, maybe we could have a, a honeymoon, a sequel. There's got now that, uh, you know, not to be staying a two into spoiler territory, but Billy and Ingrid have a love story of their own. Hey, listen, but there's, so, there's a lot of, more. there are a lot of stories in there that could be a part two. We would, I would love nothing more. Let's hope, let's see. The audience is the one that decides, decides and, uh, and, and tells the studio, hey, uh, yeah. We're ready for another one. The studio has the desire if the, if the people, you know, have the desire for it, for yes. sure. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time and uh, congrats on the movie. Such a blast. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. We Take care. a blast doing it. Bye-bye. Thank you.